Hello, welcome to our the first Sunday uh, in the after Epiphany. This is second Sunday of the New Year. At the same time, the first Sunday after Epiphany. Epiphany is uh, where child Jesus was shown to a uh, Gentile, Magi. Last Friday was the, the day of Epiphany. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Greek word comes from, yeah, but in English we use that word. So um, we first sing this, we the three kings of Oriental, and then Teresa will sing a special one. <coughs> Okay, this music piece is in a worship service packet. <coughs> Father, we thank you very much for Epiphany. Child Jesus was shown to those who came to worship him and serve him. Jesus is our Lord and the King. Help us to worship him and serve him so that he may rule over us, his kingdom may expand through us, we may live as ambassadors of Christ. Please help us today to worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray in Jesus' name.
Amen. Okay, Teresa, special. Lecz świata monarchowie, gdzie śpiesz nie dążycie. Powiedzcie nam, trzej królowie, chcecie widzieć dziecię. Ono w żłobie nie ma tronu i berła nie dzierży. A królestwo jego zgonu już się w świecie szerzy. Męczy świata złość okrutna, dziecię prześladuje. Złość okrutna, wieść to smutna, Herod spisze knuje. Nic monarchów nie odstrasza, do Betlejem śpieszą. Gwiazda drogę im ogłasza, nadzieją się cieszą. Thank you very much, Teresa. Uh, as God helps us, we'll also have a service for Epiphany, hopefully from next year, Friday night, January 6th. <coughs> January 6th. Okay, this time our treasure generation leaders will proclaim the word of God from Psalm chapter 1. Psalm chapter 1, verse 1 and 2 in English. Blessed is the one who does not walk in the step with the wicked, or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. But those whose delight is in the law of the Lord, and who meditates on his law day and night. Amen. Wers 3 i Polish. Albowiem będzie jako drzewo nad strumieniem wód wsadzone, które owoc swój wydaje czasu swego, a liść jego nie opada i wszystko, cokolwiek czynić będzie, poszczęści się. Amen. We need one uh, reader, volunteer for reading verse 3 and 4 in Korean after we read verse 3 and 4 in English together. Okay, shall we go? That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do, prosper. Not so the wicked. They are like a chap that the wind blows away.
May we love the Word of God, delight in the Word of God day and night, and be blessed by the Lord throughout this new year. Okay, please rise if you are able and let us sing Him. We will glorify. Almighty God, your Son revealed in signs and wonders the greatness of your saving love. Renew your people with your heavenly grace, and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We have a beautiful words of God from Luke chapter 2 about uh, boyhood and young manhood of Jesus Christ our Lord. Mary will lead us in reading this. Our scripture is Luke 2, 39 through 52. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was on him. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover. When he was 12 years old, they went up to the festival according to the custom. After the festival was over, while his parents were returning home, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem, but they were unaware of it. Thinking he was in their company, they traveled on for a day. Then they began looking for him among their relatives and friends. When they did not find him, they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. His mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. Why were you searching for me, he asked. Didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he was saying to them. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them. But his mother treasured all these things in her heart. And Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, 
Okay, shall we sing him, bilingual him, Jesus Rose of Sharon. Yeah, Jesus. Nickname is, well, nickname is Rose of Sharon. Yeah. So beautiful. Sharon, <clears throat> bloom in your life throughout this year. <clears throat> There's a very uh, famous uh, Chinese classic called the Book of Poem. And uh, one of those 305 poems is about a young lady who is about to marry that uh, the poem is called Tao Yao and one of things says the peach tree is young and elegant abundant will be its fruit this young lady is going to be fruit uh, future her future home and will order well her house and character. When a beautiful young lady marries, she'll bring abundant fruit, joy and harmony to her bridegroom's house. And uh, it's very interesting that this beautiful young lady is compared to a peach tree 
and in far eastern countries paradise was compared to a peachy garden murungdo one called the peachy garden of murung yeah but in the bible and in the west jesus is described as the most beautiful young lad and Jesus is called the bridegroom and church is bride so we are so fortunate that Luke inserted this story of young Jesus 12 years old young Jesus and he was an artist as well as medical doctor historian he really describes something beautiful about the growth of this young jesus so let's see how he grew also we can learn how we can grow too <coughs> first <coughs> jesus growth was triunal he grew in God. Bible says he was favored by God, favored by people. And also Jesus grew in stature, in body. So Jesus grew in his relationship with God, in his relationship with people, in body. Um, I do not want people to misunderstand. My point is that in every stage of Jesus, he really showed the beauty of that stage. Even though he is the son of God, he was born as a child of Mary, and he passed through every stage of life. When he was a little child, infant, he laid in a manger. He was born in a stable, laid in a manger, and when he grew little, he had to adjust to new environment of Egypt. Probably that was very difficult. <laughs> and then later he returned, he came to Nazareth with his parents. But Nazareth was not a very favorable town. In John chapter 1, 51, verse that uh, Nathaniel says, when he heard that Jesus was from Nazareth, Nathaniel said, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? <laughs> Nathaniel is from Cana, around near Nazareth. He knew detail about Nazareth. And he really downgraded it. Nazareth, can anything good come from there? That means, can any good person come from there? <laughs> so Jesus' environment, town environment, those were very difficult. But Mary and Joseph and Mary's relatives formed a very, very wonderful environment. And Jesus grew in every stage. That's very important. Like a very, very wonderful actor or actress. When they were children, when they played, the, really played the children's roles, they were good as ch children actors. When they acted as teenagers, they act 
They were really wonderful as teenagers. But they need to grow as just when they become 30 years old, 40 years old, when they play the role of a middle-aged person, they again need to practice, go through learning, and then act as wonderfully as middle-aged people. One time I was very astonished when I looked at this Anthony Quinn's acting. <laughs> Where the, the old man in the sea, like, very old and very young person cannot play like that, but he really played. Jesus, he really shows in every stage of life, really wonderful beautiful he had he was favored by god and favored by people and he grew in body and wisdom intellect wisdom jesus grew in every way may god help us to pray for many young people so that they may grow in their relationship with god in their relationship with their parents, neighbors, in school. Also, they may grow in body health, as healthy. And we may pray for them so that they may really grow in intellect, wisdom. Yeah. Not just getting information. Of course, getting information is important too, but what is there's a meaningful life like wisdom yeah so jesus grew was really whole person another thing jesus home atmosphere was very very wonderful this is the importance that i mean uh, our parents' role is really, really important for grandparents' role. <clears throat> Here, verse 40 says, Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem to celebrate Feast of Passover. Passover was commemoration of God's grace. God forgave people of Israel in Egypt, they were slaves of sin, and they were also slaves of Pharaoh. God forgave them, called them, and <clears throat> liberated them from Pharaoh, freed them from slave, and God brought them out. So Passover was not only Independence Day, but also Day of God's deliverance and spiritual, really, deliverance from sin. <coughs> so, uh, this was really, really important festival. It lasted eight days. Uh, seven days Passover feast, and on the eighth day, another assembly. Um, and the people around Jerusalem were required to attend, but people who lived far away, like Mary and Joseph, they were not required to attend. Because it took like six or seven days for them to travel from Nazareth all the way to Jerusalem. For small business people like Joseph, who was a carpenter, really this traveling six or seven days, to Jerusalem and stay there at least eight days and then return to another six or seven days. That goes a whole month and uh, his business should be closed. Probably he had to put out this sign. Sorry, closed, Passover, will return after one month. <laughs> That's a lot of uh, really a financial burden. Also, Joseph and Mary went together, so they had to sleep 
almost three or four weeks in in so many they had this uh, food pain they need to buy a lamb to attend as well feast many things and they are not required because of that burden but every year they went to Passover feast and verse 39 says Joseph and Mary kept every requirement so they were lay Nazarite <laughs> Nazarite <laughs> dedicated the people to God. Mary and Joseph didn't live in wilderness. They lived among people like us, but they dedicated their heart and their lives to serving God. That was really remarkable. Jesus must have been really influenced by that word. And <clears throat> Look at this. This is very interesting. They paid a lot of attention to education, children's education. In Jewish society, when a boy reaches age 13, then he goes through this test and the training, right, called Bar Mitzvah. Bar Mitzvah means son of command. Ten commandments and God's commandments, over 600. Now, at this right, a young man becomes an adult, a religious adult, treated as adult yeah, when 13. In the case of girls, when they were 12, they grew a little faster than boys. Boys are a little slow. <laughs> but Jesus' parents brought him to Jerusalem when he was 12. They gave him a restart. So this passage seems to suggest that it was the first time for Jesus went there. <laughs> Look at this. Nowadays, in, in America, some Jewish parents, when they want to bring their sons some special education for Bar Mitzvah, they bring them to Masada near Dead Sea, very high fortress. That's where 2,000 years ago, around, around 2,000 years ago, Jewish fighters fought against Rome. Till last and later, they all died, almost 1,000 people, except five people. And they his, his parents bring their sons over there and let them go through Bar Mitzvah. Probably it cost, but they want to give this exposure. <coughs> Mary and Joseph are very, very paying attention to the growth of Jesus. That's the... And now, so it was the first time for young 12 years old Jesus, not yet teenager, teenage, but beginning from 13 to 12, <laughs> last day of a childhood. <laughs> they brought young Jesus to Passover feast. There are many other relatives. Uh, Jesus' relatives. We, we remember that uh, Mary's relative, but Elizabeth and Zechariah, they were included. It's very, very God-loving people. So we know Mary had at least one sister, according to John chapter 19. But these people formed a very wonderful spiritual community in a very difficult town of Nazareth. So, young Jesus participated in the Passover feast in Jerusalem. And when that eight days feast was over, Jesus' parents were returning to Nazareth 
with other relatives, pilgrims. They thought young Jesus was with other relative boys because usually like young boys do not like to hang around the parents. Instead, they like to play around the fellow young boys and uh, it's much fun. <laughs> but then evening came, probably when they arrived in uh, some small town or some to lodging place to stay overnight, they saw, oh my God, boy Jesus was not there. This must, this is the first time. How can he come back home? So Joseph and Mary returned to Jerusalem right away. I mean, they need to arrive. They need to arrive in Nazareth as soon as possible, open the store, all like that. But they put aside all those things. Safety of Jesus was most important for them. Yeah. So they returned. They returned to Jerusalem right away. They looked for him everywhere. Where do young people like to go? They like to go to fun place. <laughs> fun place. Games, sports, or shopping area, or many other things. So, it looks like Joseph and Mary looked for him everywhere, like in fun centers, a big city, exciting places. But they couldn't find him. Then, they stopped by the temple. Because after the Passover feast, national teachers of Israel met with people from many areas of Israel and even from abroad and they answer their questions by biblical questions, any questions. And there was very special session. Yeah. When many people could not resolve their issues in their local areas, they came to that place and asked, for young people, probably that's the last place to go. <laughs> but when Mary and Joseph went there, oh my God, Jesus was there, sitting among the teachers, asking them questions and answering their questions. And people are amazed. Oh my God, how old are you? Twelve. Wow, how do you know all these things? Where are you from? Nazareth, from Nazareth. Oh, Nazareth? Nazareth is not a good problem. And they were very surprised. And Joseph and Mary were more surprised. Oh my God, where did he eat? Where did he sleep? How could he stay here? instead of going with us. And, but look at that. And Jesus' parents had a standard in their education. Mary rebuked Jesus. That's very surprising. But actually that shows real home education. Discipline was there. Discipline. That's really important. Mary rebuked him saying, Son! Why have you treated us like this? Your father and I have been anxiously searching for you. You should have told us that you are staying behind. But if Jesus had told them, probably they would not have allowed him to stay. <laughs> yeah. We've been anxiously searching for you. You are the most important to us. We've been anxiously searching for you. And you let us be anxious like that. This is a really important thing here. 
Now there's a lot of home education or school education is lacking discipline part. This is and a lot of information those things there, but discipline is lacking. But we should always remember that Garden of Eden was not a happy-go-lucky, happy-go-lucky amusement park. It was a very blessed, beautiful place, but there was a stern discipline. <laughs> God said to Adam and Eve, you are free to eat from any tree in the garden. You can pursue anything you like, but you must not eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. When you eat of it, you will surely die. In Hebrew is, you will die and die. <laughs> Repeat it. Very, very stern. God didn't say, you will have trouble. If you don't keep that rule, you will have trouble. God didn't say that. You will die and die. The mood, die and die. Look at that. Jesus' home had a wonderful standard and discipline. Children knew what I expected. There is a rule. Of course, God's commandment. And this uh, is amazing. <laughs> now let's turn to Jesus' answer. Here, Jesus said, Why were you searching for me? Didn't you know? I had to be in my father's house. Wow. Why were you searching for me? Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? To be in God's house means to do God's work. Didn't you know that I had to Teach the word of God to people. Amen. By age 12, Jesus was already new. God was his father. He was the son. And he need to serve God. Do God's work by teaching the word of God to people. That's why he stayed behind to teach people. Many people didn't know the word of God. They were doing many rituals, religious activities, but they didn't know the word of God. This is our situation. You know, nowadays, I, it's a, if uh, there are many activities, interesting things, people come, but to Bible study, people <laughs> don't like to come. But Jesus really knew he had to teach the word of God. And later in later life of Jesus, we see Jesus taught Bible every day, even before he died on the cross in the temple. Teaching the word of God. Yes. And uh, asking questions. How did he teach? Asking questions and answering that. That method is called yeshiva. Actually, that's even practiced nowadays to Jewish community. Asking questions and make people think, not just memorize, yeah, but understand and then answer questions. That's how Jesus taught. Asking questions, that means he challenges them, really. Challenges people to think. Challenges people to connect. And it's amazing. 
And didn't you know I had to do God's work? That was his answer. Yeah. Bible says, Mary and Joseph didn't understand. What do you mean I have to do? To be in my father's house. Isn't Joseph's home in Nazareth his father's house? <laughs> Joseph and Mary didn't know what was going on in Jesus' heart. They didn't know in detail, but Mary had great respect for Jesus. Mary and Joseph had great respect for their children. That's a very important thing. It's very easy for us to think, oh, I'm parents, we are parents, we know what children. What do children know? <laughs> it's very easy for us to say that, but actually, we should really respect, learn from Mary. Mary treasured all things in her heart. I don't know what he's saying, but I do not ignore. Yeah. We should have great respect for our children. Yeah. Uh, in the growing of Jesus, the final real point is really especially important. Jesus became strong through obeying the word of God. That's the, yeah. If you look at Genesis chapter 22, when God blessed Abraham, finally, God, God said, you will be a blessing forever because you have obeyed me. Yeah. Through obeying the word of God, we become really strong and really pleasing. We please God. Many people know well and uh, they can feel very, very feel sorry, cry, can move people with their emotional speech. They can talk about their brilliant hope in heaven, all those things. I know people can really, really that way move people's heart. But then they do not obey the word of God. We see a lot of things like that. Then suddenly they fall, people are very discouraged. But the real uh, people of God obey the word of God. Okay. Yes. Okay. Bible says, honor your father and mother. Uh, yeah. Jesus obeyed his Joseph and Mary, so he returned. The, the Nazareth. And he stayed there for 18 years, next 18 years. When he was becoming strong, bigger, teenage year, 20s, he just knew already what was in Jerusalem. He wanted to teach people everywhere, but he had to obey. Every day working in carpenter shop and just doing through mundane things. I mean, probably Jesus was just, it was painful for him. I should do God's work, but I'm taking care of these broken chairs and all those things. But was it? Waste of time? No. Hebrews chapter 5, 8 through 10 says, Jesus learned obedience through suffering. It was very painful. And when he became, through obedience, when he became strong, and later through obedience, he became source of eternal blessing for all those who obey him. 
Yes. That's true. When Abraham Lincoln was a boy, young boy, and uh, he was not doing farm work. <laughs> he is his father's farm, but he didn't like doing farm work. Instead, he gathered the neighboring people, boys, and he would sit down on the heap of this log timber, and he would imitate last Sunday's preaching by pastor. <laughs> he was giving speech. Then the other boy said, yeah, that's right, you did bad. And then the na neighboring farmer said, hey, he's a very lazy boy. He doesn't work. He doesn't pray around. <laughs> that's what he said. Well, think about Jesus. He was a son of God. By age, he was already best in the nation, in the world. He wanted to teach people. But every day he had to do this mundane work, obeying the word of God, honoring your father and mother. And uh, he probably is really painful. But was it waste of time? No. Through obedience, Jesus became really, really strong. We remember Joseph became really strong in prison, really, maximum prison. Jesus became strong through obedience. And during those 18 long years, Jesus didn't just, he was not just frustrated, but he gave his whole heart studying the word of God, memorizing all. And in, all, in addition to the book of the Bible, Jesus has two other books. One is book of nature. The other is book of society and history. Jesus looked at nature and learned so many wonderful things of God. Look at the lilies of the field. They do not labor or spin, but God clothed them with the most wonderful things. More wonderful than all the clothes of Solomon, King Solomon. Jesus watched delivering chair, those things. Watched how mother delivers baby after, before she was crying, but after delivered baby, she's rejoicing. A lot of teachings of Jesus and wisdom came from Jesus, that experience of those years through. So may God help us to pray for our children, grandchildren. We also may really grow in God through really giving our heart to Bible study, book of nature, Book of society and history, most of all, we may grow in our relationship with God. We may believe that through Jesus, God is our Father and we are His sons and daughters. And we may do God's work, sharing His word and helping them to have the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, beautiful Jesus, may beautiful Jesus in our life throughout this year, may we really take care of young people also uh, so that they may grow in the Lord. Thank you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, let us sing him you here. Beautiful Savior. How beautiful Jesus is.
Father, as Magi came far away to worship and see baby child Jesus and pay homage to him, bringing precious gift for him. We worship you, pay homage to you. We bring gift for Jesus. O God, our Father, Please accept this offering, use it for Jesus and his work of God. Many are suffering because they do not know true object of worship. May child Jesus be presented to them. Epiphany may come to them. People may pay homage to you. They may become citizens of God's kingdom. And God's rule may come to them and their area. And may God make them ambassadors of Christ. O Lord our Father, we pray that your kingdom may increase greatly and give life to many suffering people. Thank you, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, thank you very much. Um, this year and from next Sunday, this 
with the time we'll go through John's Gospel study. We want to really grow in personal, a personal relationship with God through Jesus. So, and especially we may grow in the love, light, and the life through this John's Gospel study. Please pray for it. Okay, also, please pray that God may will help us to share God's word with many people around us, including young people, and they may grow in their relationship with God. Okay, please pray for uh, our the, the Board of Directors meeting and General Assembly. Uh, yes, uh, this, this month, January, yeah, last week of January. And uh, yeah. uh, please pray for this uh, Shalom who came, our service last week, Shalom ever Japan. We may, God may help us to really preach the gospel to Japan also. And uh, please pray for Brother Livingston in India. He is in Bible college. He wants to, he's studying Bible with me through one to one Zoom. And uh, please pray for our many young people. God may raise them up. And, uh, okay, I know I also ask you to pray for my trip to LA uh, by God's grace. I will be awarded New Poets Award January 21st. And when I go to LA for the receiving award, I hope that by God's help, I may share the Word of God is some people there and our full life intuition ministry may start also, uh, especially among uh, uh, some people who are looking for some really, yeah, uh, among, uh, yes, please pray that this is for uh, now, just God is spreading our ministry everywhere, and, uh, especially God may grant us some people who are looking for Hebrew Old Testament study, Greek New Testament study among some people in LA, also among our Korean American elders who want to participate in our ministry. Okay, thank you very much. Let, let me give you benediction. <clears throat> the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all throughout this year. May the peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your heart and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen.